Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here, and look what we have today. This is a dream bike, dream bike, my friends. Honda CRF 300L. Nothing stock about this one. Let's see if I can get my leg over it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a thing. A thing of beauty. How do I start it? I love it. I've got a whole bunch of specs info to give you all on this, but we're going to take it for a little spin around town. A good friend of mine owns this. He owns all the good dream bikes. And uh, hey, let's see what happens here. It's a Garmin, uh, I don't know what model. I got it written down. We'll talk about that in a minute. First time, first time on one of these. I just, I've read so much about these bikes. What a hoot, what a hoot. Dudes, <laughs> I love it, I love it. We are here at Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. BaxterCycle.com, give those guys a call if you need anything. This thing is up in the air. You are up in the air on this one. Single mirror. Look at this, just wow. I'm new to this bike, so I'm taking it easy. I'm assuming it's a six speed. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because it is powerful and I'm just babying it. Look at that, I'm at 4,500 RPM. <laughs> what a grin, what a grin. I love the sound, he's got a pipe on it. Yokoshima, I think, we'll, we'll take a look at that too. These things are like, uh, I don't know the specs. I'll put the weight down below. I think they're in the like 250s, something like that. This thing is cool. This thing is amazing. Amazing car there, so we didn't do our turn test there, but we'll do it right here. Look at that, huh? Look at that. What a grin, what a grin. This is very different than anything I've ridden ever before. I'm short shifting because it's uh, I'm new to the bike. It looks like it has a 10.5 uh, and 11,000 uh, 10.5 red line. What a hoot! Check that hot ride out. Nice blue tiger. I love the sound. I want to wheelie so bad, but I am not going to do it. <laughs> I will resist the urge. Resist the urge. <laughs> this thing would do it in a heartbeat. You know, I, I feel like I'm letting it rub, but it's I'm short shifting even at that. You would uh, take a half a day to learn how to ride this, or a day to learn how to ride this, and uh, that'd be a good start. He said I could ride it on the gravel, but I, I don't feel like I want to do that. It is such a wonderful thing. <laughs> -hoo -hoo -hoo. It is a dream. It is a dream. This fellow has been on two wheels since the day he was born, and he knows all the good tricks. All his bikes are really done right. I mean, he, and he lives on a motorcycle. So he just, and this one's just absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, okay, let's do the hill test right here. See if there's anybody coming. How will it turn on a hill? Not a, oh, look at that, absolutely. Look at that, holy, that's a derailleur grill, by the way. That's absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. It's so light feeling. Derailed grill, Marnie, Iowa, give those guys a shot. It's, there's no weight to this bike. And it's got loads of power. I'm just gonna point out, gear indicator down here, speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, clock, Quite a deal. It looks like it has an ABS on and off button over yonder. He's done quite a bit to this. We'll try to cover as much as we can. Uh, we'll go down here to a motorcycle park in a second after I get my, <laughs> I 
after I get myself uh, in trouble for riding it around town too much. It's got a really sweet sound. A really sweet sound. What a deal. I love it. The ride, he's got a YSS suspension and uh, the special springs on the front, so the ride is really something. It's an amazingly controllable machine. I mean, it's it's not, you know, it seems to do everything just right. It doesn't feel twitchy or bumpy or bouncy. It feels, you know, it's got very good control. The rebound on the shocks are excellent, even though there's a lot of spring to it. I know I'm not riding it hard enough. This is the kind of bike that uh, likes running close to redline as much as possible, or, you know, in the higher RPMs. Okay, let's get it down to the, uh, I could do this all day. Let's get it down to the uh, motorcycle park and do a little walk and talk, huh? Okay, let me get my helmet off and we shall do a walk and talk. Walk around and talk. Wahoo! Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker. We've made our way down to Cycle Park, Motorcycle Park. And uh, look at this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful machine. I've been driving it around town and uh, I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's just a phenomenal piece of machinery. Handling is mind-blowingly good. I just, that is the one thing that really jumped out at me is how well this thing handled. It's just a, it's a lightweight. The suspension on this thing is, is rocket years, light years ahead of anything. I've, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But what a beautiful, beautiful machine, huh? Just a true beauty. And he has got all the neat little goodies on her. He has uh, done it right. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> uh, the engine, I believe, is the mechanics of the engine is stock. But I believe it has the, they did the smog delete and they did the 550 performance tune on it. So, and it, it believe me, it's snappy. And I never, I never had it even close to the power range. I think uh, I had it maybe 8,000 RPMs. This bike redlines at 11.5, I think. And these things are made to, to live in that range if you want them to. Had plenty of torque, even at my poor driving skill level. <laughs> it's got a, uh, it says a Zeta windscreen and he painted it red on this side. Black on this side, something about the kit here. Just a gorgeous thing. Tusk bars, I believe, uh, sticking with the front end. The turn signals are TST industry turn signals. The front fork has been, uh, the springs have been upgraded in it. The tires are Dunlop 605s. That's, you know, he rides a lot of street and gravel, so those are a pretty neutral tire. Speaking of tires, he did put a rim lock on the back. Yeah, right there. Beautiful machine, beautiful machine. Uh, he, it has uh, the, the Galfer brake pads. Look at those discs, aren't they just neat? I don't have uh, exact specs for uh, things like disc and stuff like that, ground clearance or anything like that. I'll try to find some of that and put it below. If I... It certainly is a uh, 21 inch front tire. 275, 21, 605 F Dunlop. And the rear is 120, 80, 18. Wow, amazing. The YSS suspension in the back, I am, I'm a true believer in YSS. This is, uh, I've driven several bikes with it now and every time I ride one, I just I just fall in love with them. He did put a bigger sprocket on the rear, I think a 42 instead of a 40 and it's got a DID chain, gold chain. Isn't that neat? It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, he's got a Garmin XT on the front. He put this neat little toolkit in here and uh, he said it's got just everything you could possibly need is in there, under here, and they did the tool box delete thing but he had some sort of thing that he did with this also this is a center stand right here for the bike he was telling me how that works i've never used one but you use that if, you had, if you're on the trail and have to jack up the back tire or patch your back tire uh, those of you that are aware of these kind of things will know exactly what that is i on the other hand i'm am new to this game i love the pipe yoshimura pipe absolutely gorgeous piece just beautiful uh chirby grips a Cherby tank, and I don't know what size that is. A Cherby bash guard on the bottom. He did this here to keep things out of the, you know, from getting stuck behind here. I can't remember what he called that. Seat Concept Seat. Check that out. I've got a Seat Concept on my Himalaya. It's just beautiful. Check this out. And you know, there's all kinds of little things. He's got these, you know, shorty levers on there that are adjustable. Um, these little ball mines for different things that he might want to put on. I'm guessing that's like a USB thing right there. 
I shut off with the traction controller reonder. These special, you know, orly grips. That goes back to times gone by. I think I mentioned already he has a toolkit under the seat. He also has some like spare clutch levers and things like that stuffed underneath here somewhere, just in case out in the middle of nowhere. Of course, the big foot, you know, the larger foot on the side stand. Just a real beauty, beauty of a machine, isn't it? Just a real beauty of a machine. I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. He, uh, he, and he uses this. He takes these on these trips. You know, uh, here it says pig trail. Goes down to Arkansas with us. He's got a place in Colorado. Just the, the details are, you know, I love the graphics kit he put on here. I'm assuming he put that on. Just phenomenal, phenomenal. Absolute. <laughs> I could sit and look at this for hours, my friends. Or, or I could put my helmet on and go ride that thing around. What should I do? Hey, if it's nice where you're at, get out and ride. I'm gonna go do the same. Wahoo! This has been a thrill of a lifetime to ride this bike. I'm absolutely in love with it. This is a dream come true and I really appreciate it, Mark. Thanks, buddy. Wahoo!